this week's project, we are going to be preparing some body panels for fresh paint. We have the opportunity to use a paint booth before it gets taken down. So we're going to be working on the rear bumper, the rear clip, and the deck lid. Right here, I have our rear bumper, and I'm going to start prepping it for some paint. So the first step is I'm going to take this bumper, and I'm going to clean it as best as I can to remove any like dirt and grime that's going to cause excess scratching before I sand down the bumper itself. Alright guys, so for this next step, I'm going to be using 150 grit sandpaper to come in and get any of these like super extravagant scratches and uh, body damage that is left on the paint before we start wet sanding the car. Okay, so what I've done here is I have taken just a, regu a regular sharpie and I have made marks to keep track of all the places that I have, feel like I'm going to have to go in with this 150 grit. Um, started more vaguely marking like we have a really good place down here that I'm gonna have to get this is like really good cracks it's just some dings just some stuff that's not quite level with the paint so I'm gonna sand that down get that as level as we can before I start wet sanding it What I'm doing right now is I have just completed sanding the bumper of any imperfections. I'm going to rinse off all of this dust and the next step is going to be to wet sand the bumper. gonna be able to use a cloth and wipe it off you know this is probably more soap than necessary but as you wipe it off you'll be able to see what's left and you can feel with your hand whether it's smooth or not so we may need to put some uh, filler in some of these but with a uh, with a bumper like this that's made of this urethane plastic you're gonna need a special type of filler um, Steve has some of it at his house so we may be using that or I may decide that since a lot of these scratches are really minor just go with some filler primer and you may still be able to see something but it'll be so minimal that it won't matter I'd rather not use filler if I don't have to on this uh, uh, on this bumper because anything that's flexible has a tendency to pop out the filler so if you can avoid using filler then you know that'll be a paint job that probably lasts longer. All right, so we're gonna do a test here about the color matching on this panel. So we have a pearl and that, that just kinda, kinda means that it's a three part paint. There's a base coat, mid coat, and a clear coat. Well, the mid coat can be any number of passes and we're gonna do a test with one to four passes of pearl. And then when we're done, we'll be able to pull up the bottom and see the original color and see which one 
is the best match. So we're gonna give that a shot. All right, so we uh, finished our test and uh, we it turned out effective, but has revealed some, uh, some obvious uh, issues. It may not come up in the camera here, but uh, I'm gonna kind of go over everything with you. So what we have here is we have the back of the original deck lid. And on the back of the original deck lid, I have done multiple test strips where I did two base coats each, and then I went over with different level of pearls from four coats of pearl, three, two, and one coat of pearl. And as I go across it, the stripes in the middle are of course the original color. The original finish has dulled out quite a bit, but even so, the pearl in it it's kind of a blue pearl and this is kind of a green gold more general pearl so at best uh, i'm gonna have to repaint the whole car but i was planning to repaint the whole car anyway so maybe that's fine this will at least get us a similar type of color on the panels rather than having like a red panel or something like that um over here we've added some clear coat on the original finish with just wax and grease remover. Here's the original finish here. And then right here, we wet sand and prepped. So that's what's going on here. And then in any case, you know, I think what we're gonna go with is two coats of pearl here. Which may or may not show up in the thing. It kind of looks like for the most part, pearls going on very evenly and it doesn't really matter how many coats of pearl that you put on over two. But in any case, uh, the color looks really good and me and Rose are pretty happy with it. So there's that. So I guess we'll uh, continue uh, more later. All right, you guys, thanks for tuning in. Do not forget to like and subscribe to our channel. I'm really curious to know how many coats of pearl you think we should use on the panels of our car so we did we did four four panels and four layers of pearl and i'm really interested to know what you guys think because alex likes two and i want more pearl all right you guys that's gonna be it for today so again don't forget to like and subscribe if you are are not already then follow us on instagram and i will see you again next time